What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a Chlorophyll Victory Bell team for Regulation E. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. But this team also featured another Pokemon that I have not showcased yet on Regulation E, and that is going to be Cantonian Ninetales. That's going to be the first Pokemon that we do end up talking about for today's team preview as well. It's got Drought and the Eject Pack as its item. It's got Overheat, Will-O-Wisp, Disabled, and Protect. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially as a Sunsetter, paired up with Victory Bell, and Victory Bell can get thriving from there. Victory Bell is going to be our second Pokemon with Chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun, and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Solar Beam, Sleep Powder, Weather Ball, and Encore. Lovely move set for any Chlorophyll Victory Bell. In our third slot, we got Komo with Bulletproof and Throat Spray, Clanging Scales, Flamethrower, Clanger Soul, and Protect. Solid move set for Komo. You guys seen this a little bit on Regulation E Ladder already. We got King Gambit in our fourth slot, and I love King Gambit. I think it's a cool Pokemon. I think it's pretty strong on the rank ladder ever since it was released in this game. This one's got Defiant, which is a top tier ability. And then it's also rocking the Assault Vest as item. It's got Assurance, which I would rather have Kaltau Cleave on this thing, and then Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Terra Blast. In our fifth slot, we got Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory is just pretty solid on the rank ladder, right? It's a good fake out user. It hits pretty hard as well. Then we got the Focus Sash and Frisk as item. Then we got Psychic, Focus Blast, Partner Shot. And like I already mentioned, fake out for those first turn flinches. In our final slot, we got Chandelure, and I'm absolutely loving this Chandelure's moveset. It's got Hex, Heat Wave, Trick Room, and Imprison. Big time plays. We can actually uh, use Trick Room and Imprison to stop Trick Room. It's one of the best ways to stop Trick Room in the meta right now. So, absolutely love this thing. Chandelure also has Flash Fire as its ability, and that's holding the Rocky Helmet for a little bit of damage when it gets hit by uh, physical attackers. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? A rental code is at the top right hand corner. Well, let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Victory Bell Sun team. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a Chlorophyll Sun team as well. They got Logan to double its speed in the sun, and then they also have. Leafeon, which I believe learns Chlorophyll and it gets double its speed in the sun. So they got Torkoal and they can set the sun. I'm going to bring Ninetales in here, but I don't think I'm going to lead Ninetales. I definitely want to bring in my lovely Shannon Lord. It's got Flash Fire. It can really eat up from there. And then I really want to bring in Victory Bell, obviously, because Sun is definitely going to come out here. And it's going to be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to bring Victory Bell. I'm going to bring Shannon Lord, but who am I going to lead? Who am I going to lead here? Monkey Dory is not a bad lead. You get the fake outs. You can really get after it that way. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to go Victory Bell. or well, not Victory Bell. Uh, Monkey Dory here for a lead. And on top of that, I'm going to lead... Do I lead Chandel? No, I think I lead Victory Bell. And then I can go into Sun Nine Tails. So I can always swap in there. And then Chandel will back in. Loving it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But before we get anything started, I want to give a huge shout out to two brand new members to the Jeans channel. My boy, Brian Johnson. Thanks so much for becoming a G member. And my man, Ryshell, for uh, rejoining, becoming a member. So he was already a member to the channel. He rejoined. So huge shout out to him. If you guys want to become a member, links are down in the description below. Huge shout out to all my members. I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me. But they end up going into the Sun Squad. They go Torkoal alongside with Leafeon. And I think from here, we just straight up fake out the Leafeon. And then on top of that, we just go for a Sleep Powder into the Torkoal. We're going to say, yo, we're not dealing with that. And we'll go from there. So the fake out's going to come out here from the Monkey Dory. We're going to make the Leafeon flinch. We're going to have Fingers crossed right here for Sleep Powder land. And it does. Beautiful. Awesome. Lovely. So a solid first turn. A solid, beautiful first turn. We like that first turn. So now from here, I think Leafgun could outspeed, right? Leafgun might be faster than Victory Bell, because Victory Bell speed, I think it's like around 100. Yeah, 98. So he might outspeed us, but I think from here, it's a simple play of just psychicking down the Torkoal, doing as much damage as we possibly can, and then terrestrializing into fire and Weather Ball and this Leafgun down for the KO. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we got the Torkoal to sleep. Want to deal some damage on before it wakes up, just so... In case it wakes up, it's not doing some crazy damage with corruption. Then we'll kind of go from there. So we're going to use our terror type, especially with Weather Ball. It rocks out super, super well. And we'll get kicking. So Double Edge is going to fly here. I got Focus Sash if that would have even brought me down. He's going to take some mean recoil damage. And now Weather Ball flies. I probably could have KO'd without using Weather Ball, but I want to make sure. I really do. I really did want to make sure. So I end up taking him out. 
And Psychic should do a nice chunk of damage on the tool. Right? A decent chunk of damage. Especially Monkey Dory with his stab move. I love how it uses Psychic too. It like wiggles its fingers and it gets after it. Torko's still asleep. That is beautiful. And we'll go from there. So I could actually hard swap Monkey Dory here if I want to. Just to get Fake Out later. And I might do that depending on who they go into. They're going to go into Dragon. The Dragon Knight, it could just e speed me, right? I'm going to try to Parting Shot if I can. I'll try to Parting Shot the Dragon Knight. And if I can, I think I might just try to put Dragon Knight to sleep here as well. I kind of want it to Terrastalize. I might predict it Terrastalizing. Yeah, I'm going to go for Solar Beam. I'm going to predict this thing Terrastalizing into like normal. So I'm going to look to just do a nice chunk of damage into it. And yep, out comes a nice beautiful Terror type. I think Torkoal might be asleep this turn as well. But I, I think they're going to try to take out the Monkey Dory here. And if they take out Monkey Dory, then Solar Beam can do a nice chunk of damage on that slot. And then I can bring out another fast Pokemon who try to get rid of uh, Torkoal. So there's the E-Speed. And you were going into... Okay, you're going in this slot. And we're able to soak. We love that. We love it. We're going to die to Life Orb, but at least we're going to get off some a Solar Beam here. The Solar Beam comes out here. Can this KO? If not, we still get off the party shot, which is nice. And we really got to hope Torkoal's uh, slumped here. The Dragonite does not go out here, but... But I do get off a nice big party shot, and I can reuse my Fake Out next turn. I get to reuse my Fake Out next turn. Party shot comes out here. And I'm going to go into Chandelure here. Just in case Torkoal wakes up, a fire move could potentially be coming after me. So, at this point, I can just flash fire and eat that. Lovely. Lovely. So, I'll go on the Chandelure, who can't be hit by e speed Just beautiful. And Torkoal's still slumped. Cool. So, he is Life Orb, which is kind of annoying. I could go into Nine Tails here, or I could go into Monkey Dory. Who do I go into here? I think I'm going to save my Monkey Dory. I think I'm just going to go into you. I'm going to go into Nine Tails here. And now I can just Heat Wave for the KO, which I like. And I think I'm just going to protect you, right? Yeah, I think protecting you is our best bet. I'm looking to Heat Wave for KO. I think E Speed is going to come into the Nine Tails slot, so protecting is a pretty good call, I think. And no, he's going for something else. Heat Wave ends up landing and picking up a big time double kill. So Chandelure coming in hot in the back end. We're playing this one pretty, pretty perfectly. We read the Terror type. We came in hot first turn with the Fake Out and the Sleep Powder and then Weather Ball Terra. And everything worked out perfectly. Now we got a full HP Chandelure. We got a full HP Nine Tails with the Jet Pack. And then we have Monkey Doing the back end. And all they have left is Sizzle. So yeah, you are done. You are done. You're not surviving one fire shot. That's game, set, match. So I'll go for Heat Wave. I'll send the overheat. Chance our opponent just cancels battle. They don't. They say, yo, I'm going to let my scissor die. And that's exactly what happened. So scissors are goner. GG's to her opponent. 1-0 to get things started. Let's go hop into her second and look to go back to back. Second match is on its way. And we're going to have a little bit of a weather war going on here. They got Pelipper. We have Nine Tails. Let's try to get after it. Everybody knows, or at least I know. And if you guys haven't been playing this game for a little bit. You have to win the weather war in order to win the match. So if they're going to win with rain, they're going to win the match. If we win it with sun, we're going to win the match. So let's see how this one ends up playing out here. But uh, they got Crest, they got Ursaluna, so they could end up popping Trick Room. Trick Room could definitely be very valuable to them. I am going to be bringing in King Gambit here, which I actually really like. And I think I'm also going to be bringing in Monkey Dory. I think Monkey Dory could be solid. I don't have to bring in Victory Bell. I really don't have to. I could go Chandelier, but Victory Bell is pretty solid with a lot of super effective moves. So I'm going to end up leading the King Gambit. I like Gambit as a nice little lead here. And I'm going to end up... we lead the Victory Bell? No, I think we're going to back end the Victory Bell. We're going to back end the Victory Bell with Nine Tails. Or do I bring Chandelier instead of Victory Bell? Looking at his team, it's not bad. I mean, we got the Rocky Helmet, but Victory Bell doubles its speed in the sun. And it can get cooking from there. It's got a decent terror type. I'm cool with it. I'm down with that. Plus, it'll be super effective onto the Ursaluna and Urshifu, if that's a Water Urshifu. I believe it's Water Urshifu. There's no way you have Pelipper without Water Urshifu. So, we'll see. We'll see. But we started off things hot. 1-0. We killed it in our first match. Victory Belt really got a lot of damage off. It one shot at the Leafeon with Weather Ball. Got off a nice big Sleep Powder. It did some massive amount of damage onto uh, Dragon Knight with the Solar Beam. And we just killed it from there. 
But he ends up leading these two. Okay, so I can fake out somebody. And on top of that, I can hit the other one. So that's Water Urshifu. And we know that's scary. He's got Choice Band on there. And I'm thinking I could Tarrasalize and Fire probably, but that's not the best bet. That's not, that's, that's not a good play. I'm thinking of just Iron Head in the Ursaloon. I know it's a bit bulkier, but I can Iron Head. Actually, I like the moves that we have. Hmm. No, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, you know, we're just going to Iron Head this thing. Actually, I'm going to double down into you. No, no, no. I'm going to Iron Head uh, Ursula. Now, I'm just going to fake out the Urshifu. I could just Psychic it, but it might protect. I'll go for Fake Out. So, Fake Out comes out here. We get a little bit of Klapskis here. We'll get a nice little flinch. We know it's Choice Band, but we don't know what's Choice Banding into. We're hoping we're going to get a flinch here with Iron Head. That's still a nice chunk of damage. Hyper Voice ends up flying, and I'm cool with that. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. So, I'm definitely scared of this, uh... This Urshifu here. This Urshifu is scaring me a little bit. I could Terrasalize in the fire. But I'm hoping Monkey Dory can just outspeed the Urshifu, right? You're pretty high on speed, right? What are you, like 160 something? 173. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be able to outspeed. So if I just go for a Psychic and an Iron Head in the slot, I'd really like that. The Psychic should be able to KO. Unless he detects. And he doesn't. So cool. Monkey Dory gonna get off some big time damage. Should KO Urshifu, right? Yeah, cleans it up. Get on out of here. We're not dealing with you. That's big time, because I think Urshfu was trying to go for a close combat anyway. Iron Head's going to fly here, do another nice chunk of damage, and maybe we get the flinch this time? No, we don't. There's the Earth Power. I was scared. I was scared of the Earth Power turn one, but hey, if I get rid of Urshfu, I'll definitely take my King Game and die out here. So now from here, I think I'm just going to go Victory Bell, and I might end up hard swapping Monkey Dory, or just Parting Shot if it is faster than the other. So we'll see who they go into. And end up going into Pelipper. So yeah, this is a perfect time to actually parting shot. We're going to go into Victory Bell. And I think I'm just going to Solar Beam here. And I'm going to... I'm definitely going to Trash Slice here. I don't like the the, uh, the air move coming in here. So I'm going to go for a Solar Beam. I'm going to look to KO. Probably Ursaluna, right? Yeah, I'm not too... Uh, Pelipper is a tough little customer. If I parting shot into Nine Tails, Nine Tails can just get rid of Ursaluna. Hmm. But no, you know what? Ursaluna is a problem. Ursaluna is a problem, especially if we parting shot into Pelipper, we get that minus one on special attack, and we'll go from there. So I'll terrestrialize my victory bell. I'm not dealing with a Hurricane KO on me, so I'd rather go into this. He could. I understand that I'm going into Fire type, and he could Earth Power me, but chances are he's not doing it this turn. And if he does do it this turn, we're just gonna outspeed it and kill it with a Solar Beam. The parting shot comes out from Monkey Dory, and I'm loving this Monkey Dory set right here. Parting shots, fake outs, hitting hards with Psychic and Focus Blast. I love it a lot. And look at this, guys. Right now, we're taking control of the weather, and we're looking to win the weather war. I said it in the beginning. If you can win the weather war, you're going to win the match. So I'm going to go into Ninetales for the most part. There's some there's some circumstances where, where that's not 100% true. But for the most part, you're winning the weather war. You usually win this game. So I take the weather control, my victory bell doubles up on speed, I end up popping a nice little solar beam, and that's going to take out Ursula. Plus one Ursula, I should say. And now, which is perfect, Pelipper can't swap out because they can't swap in anything, and they can't change up weather. Love that. And now you're minus one. There's the hurricane, which is still landing in the sun. Kind of annoying, but we're able to soak decently well. And if, what? Of course you get the ducks. Of course you get the ducks. That's going to screw me over. I can put money on it now. I bet you I miss my next turn. And they pick up a big time KO. So out comes Iron Hands. Um, I'm going to actually Encore it into Protect to turn after. But I'm just going to try to go for a Solar Beam. And I'll go for a Will-O-Wisp into Iron Hands here. So I think he is going to pick out my Victory Bell. Are you not? Okay, you're not. Cool. The Victory Bell is going to be confused. And what did I say? I told you we were going to lose our turn and we're going to die out. So that's very annoying. will o ends up landing, which is actually pretty massive. We get the big time burn on a big time physical attacker. And Pelper is probably going to land another Hurricane KO on me. I have a weird feeling about this one. No, he ends up setting up a Tailwind. Okay, so Tailwind comes out here. I think Victory Bell still outspeeds. Unless you're KOing my Victory Bell. Yeah, it looks like you are. No, we survived. Lovely. Big time survive turn. Big time turn. 
So we get off a nice lovely burn. I think from here, we're gonna rip a solar beam into who? Hi, Pelipper, right? Did they terrestrialize yet? Curious. No, they didn't. They didn't terrestrialize. I still have Monkey Dory in the back, which I love. But solar beam, we're just gonna start trying to tackle on that. Actually, no, you didn't fake out. I was gonna encore him. It's fine. I could disable that move. I could disable Dream Punch. But I think from here, we're just gonna go solar beam. And we're gonna look to overheat. Just because if I can get off an overheat and then a jack pack and turn my stats back to normal, that'd be that'd be nice. That'd be lovely. I'm surprised you didn't fake out. I really am. Don't tell me I lose another turn here. Don't do do it to me. Don't do it. I told yo, I told you guys. I just know my luck. I know everything. I know everything. I knew I was gonna oh dude and mm, just pains my soul, man. It just pains me. It just pains me that I'm losing turns like this. Overheat's gonna come out and I'm missing? Yo! My RNG is so bad. It really is bad. So I can't eject pack out anymore. It's just so ugly. It's so bad. It's terrible. It's so bad. Alright, so we got Monkey Dory out here. I think now he's probably gonna maybe potentially terrestrialize Iron Hands. Do I fake out or do I just straight up attack? We know it has the best. I might just double down into you. If you terrestrialize into grass, that's fine. And Pelipper more likely to protect than Iron Hands. Right? Because Iron Hands doesn't really rock protect. Pelipper does. But they know I have fake out, so Pelipper could just protect you. But I'm going to double down in case of the grass terror. But yo, that's so ugly. I'm missing these openings. Psychic's going to fly here. We love Psychic. Big time damage. Can Overheat finish this thing off? Ice Beam coming in here. We should be able to soak an Ice Beam. Lovely. And Overheat's landing. That's a KO. <laughs> Yo, this match. This match is so bad. It's so bad. He ends up Drain Punching me, and I think he can survive the burn now. Can Burn KO? Please, Burn. Help me out a little bit. No, <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I hate this game. I don't like it one bit. Not one bit. I'm gonna psychic down the Pelipper, and I'm gonna. I better land this overheat. I'm gonna overheat the Iron Hands. Don't tell me I lose this match. Don't tell me I lose this match. I won the Weather War. We lost two turns of confusion. We missed one overheat. And this thing living on one HP. Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't cool. Not cool at all. So let's see what our opponent ends up doing. We need to land this overheat. Tailwind didn't really do anything for him. Except for make the Pelipper faster than my Ninetales. But second comes out here. Should have HP. It has HP. Cool. Ice Beam's gonna fire. You soak. No freezes allowed. And overheat lands. Beautiful. That wraps up the match. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was gonna be so upset. More than upset. I was gonna be so upset if we lost this match. Pelipper comes out here and it's got leftovers. Ooh. Am I protected at this point? Hailman's gone. I'm gonna drop another psychic. Good thing we made we parting shot into that thing too. It was pretty big for us. And we're gonna go for another overheat, even though we're minus two. Psychic comes out here. I think psychic should just finish it off, right? Big time psychic. Lovely. Thank you. I would have been so upset if we lost that match, but hey, 2-0. and oh, Let's go hop into a third and look for that perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and our opponent has nine tails just like us, so weather is going to be on our side. We definitely want to bring in Victory Belt, and we definitely want to bring in Chandelure. Love both those Pokemon. I am going to end up leading... Do I lead nine tails? Monkey Dory has been great for us in today's video. Monkey Dory has been phenomenal. But who should I lead here? I could go King Gambit. I like King Gambit up against all the other Pokemon besides Ninetales and Ogre Pond and Urshifu. So I might bring that Pokemon in here. Konomo, I don't really like that too much. Fluttermane is definitely coming in here. But that's why I like King Gambit because I think they're going to bring in Fluttermane. So I'm going to go King Gambit here and I'm going to also lead it with... Do I lead it with Shano? Because I could pop Trick Room. Their team's rather fast, right? I could pop Trick Room. 
if, if I want to. But you know what? No, we're just going to go Victory Bell. If we want to set the sun, we can do it with Nine Tails, and then we will bring Enchanted Lord in the back end. But Monkey Dory was phenomenal for us. I love this Pokemon. I love its moveset that it has. Party Shot was great. Fake Outs are awesome. Hitting hard with Psychic. We didn't get to use Focus Blast, but Focus Blast hits hard. It's base 120, but I think it's actually like 70. So it's like, you kind of only want to do it if you need it. So I still like Monkey Dory so much. The Fake Outs and the Party Shot combination. It's always works out beautiful. So Urshifu and Ogre Pine comes out here. That is the water Urshifu as well. So hard swapping into the sun is pretty good. Could be pretty good. It could be pretty lovely. Um. Hmm. I hmm. What do I want to do here? That's that's a real question. I could just go Fire Terra. And maybe just Sucker Punch this thing. Or I can just straight up hard swap. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hard swap so you can get some work done. I could go for sleep powder. I could go for a solar beam as well. Um, I don't really know what I want to do. I could Tarasalize to go with a fire move. The thing is, do I think Ogre Pond's put on a mask? Kind of. So you know, I'm still gonna Tarasalize, but I'm just gonna solar beam the Urge for Slap. The reason I'm still wanna Tarasalize is because he could be going for this uh, Ivy Cudgel to me. Ogre Pond's just. A He's an issue. He's an issue. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with this issue, but we're going to try it. <laughs> so, I end up terrestrializing. I think he, again, I think he puts a mask on. And I'm hoping the solar beam just rips into uh, Urshfu. But there is a hot chance Urshfu does protect. That would really break my heart. Break my heart, break my soul. So, let's see. Is he putting on the mask? Of course he put on the mask. And that's exactly why I did not want to rip the... Uh, the weather ball. I could have went for a sleep powder. I could have went for a sleep powder, but if he didn't thrasalize, then sleep powder would have been blocked because it's grass type. But that thing is terrifying. Me. Body ash me. I think he still one shots me, even with the, uh, even with the, uh, the fire terror. So I'm going for the solar beam here. We're hoping Urshu's not sash, because that's just gonna be a big time KO, and it's not. So, yo, victory about killing it in today's video. Hot start for us. But again. Ogre Pond's hitting somebody hard. He's hit, he's killing somebody, I think. Ivy Coach, I think I, I shouldn't even thrash lies. I think it was a waste of a Terra. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard because like you want to make these calls, but then it's just like he's KOing through your Terra. Everything's going crazy. This thing just hits like a truck. It really does. Hits like a truck. So now I have you. Um I honestly don't know what to do here. I honestly don't know what to do. I think maybe best bet could be just to protect and maybe pop a trick room, but I'm going into Shannon Lord here. He's gonna go into Mouse Hold, and this is just like, it's a perfect time for him to follow me, right? It's a perfect time. Like, they have Mold Breaker. Unless this one's Defiant, I would rather that one be Defiant. Actually, no, I don't think he learned Defiant. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but uh, are you gonna outspeed Nine Tails? Because I could dis disable Ivy Cudgel. But I think I'm just gonna play it smart. I'm just gonna protect you, and I'm gonna go for the Trick Room. I would love the I would love the Pop Trick Room. I would love the Pop Trick Room. So we got two Fire types on here. Mole Breaker really does me dirty. If you have it, he's gonna Thunder Wave me. That's kind of good if we're not losing turns to Paralyze, but it is gonna slow us down for Trick Room. So let's see what he ends up doing here. He's going to go for the Ivy Cudgel. Into Nine Tails. Beautiful. And can we not be paralyzed this turn? Love. Get off the we get off the rooms full of tricks. So now, from here, I'm going to overheat into the mouse hold. I'm just going to heat wave across the board. Just so I can try to make sure I get rid of this mouse hold, right? Ivy Cudgel is still terrifying. Spiky Shield comes out of here. I like that. That's, 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 this could be a good turn for us. And of course, I'm paralyzed and I can't move because RNG's hating me right now. And I'm missing overheat. What is going on? Absurd. It's absurd. This game's absurd. I'm not going to lie. This game's absurd right now. I don't know how I'm 2-0 today. I do not know how I'm 2-0. Missing 90 accuracy moves. Get out of my face, man. This hurts the soul. I have King Gammon in the back end. But I really need this turn to go through. I like really need to land my heat waves. I really need to land my overheats. And I just don't. 
Because I feel like we definitely would have had a shot. Like, that was that was the turning tides, I think, in this match. If that would have landed, take out the mouse hold, we would have had a fighting chance. But now I just think Ogre Pond is just doing me dirty. Really do. I mean, we do have speed still, which is pretty good. The trick room call was good for us. It's just tough. They end up withdrawing Ogre Pond. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind. I got Heat Wave thriving over here. You're going into Flutterman. I do not mind that. We got Trick Room out and about. Pro Synthesis popping. What are you boosting? You're boosting your speed in Trick Room? It's a big no no. It's a big no no. And I'm missing Heat Waves again? Mouse Hold. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather it hit Flutterman than Mouse Hold. So I'll take that all day. Overheat gets cooking. And it's not KOing. See, if I would have landed that Heat Wave. Like, come on, man. Oh man, this hurts so bad. But if I land Heat Wave here, if I land Heat Wave here, which Chandelure is going to be fastest in Trick Room right now, I will pick up a double K. I will. So now we go into Gambit, and Gambit's great for Sucker Punches. Lovely for Sucker Punches. So we just need, like, Chandelure, I need you to look me in the eyes and, and tell me that you're landing this. And tell me. Good thing they, they dodged the Paralyze, but I need, I need Gambit here. I mean, not game. I need Chandelure to just be like, hey, we're landing this. That'll be lovely. I'm going to pop an assurance into the Flutter main slot just in case it does KO or in case he wants to swap in the Pond again. And I'm, I'm relying on Chandel. I'm relying on Chandel to, one, not be paralyzed, and two, land this double heat wave. Like, this is the game right here. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance, man. That's all I, that's all I ask for. Follow me comes out here. That's fine. That is fine. We're popping heat wave that's gonna land. Let's go, Shandel. Let's go, Shandel. Let's go, Shandel. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. So even after all the RNG, your boy plays really well. And, and I make up. I make up for the RNG. I think I have to play so much harder than other people. But let me know in the comments section down below. Is your guys RNG as bad as mine? And be honest. Be honest. Because you guys see it plenty of times in my videos. I'm missing attacks. I'm getting hit by crits. Like everything's just going wrong sometimes. I'm losing turns to paralyze, confusions. Let me know in the comments section down below. But from here, um, I have speed right now because again, Trick Room is in full effect. And I do think Sucker Punch is probably the better uh better move here. So I'm just gonna go Sucker Punch. And I'm just gonna go for a nice lovely hex. Nice hex. So he ends up spike a shield. Smart cookie. Smart cookie. And he's gonna KO my King Gambit next turn. This, this match, like, they can still win this match, no problem. They can definitely still win this match. So I'm going for the hexes. I'm going for the sucker punches. And Trick Room is now going. So I could pop Trick Room again, but I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch. Actually, I'm gonna go Sucker Punch Trick Room. I'm gonna reset the Trick Room. Sucker Punch coming out here. Because I know he's killing my King Gambit. I know he's killing my King Gambit. There's no doubt in my King Gambit's gone. Yeah. So with King Gambit gone, if I can not be paralyzed set this trick room, we probably win this match. Let's go, yo. Shandle coming in the clutch, man. Shandle coming in the clutch. Big time. So we reset the trick room. We got off a nice big sucker punch to half HP. And overheat in the sun should be able to chuck up some nice damage. Let's see. We'll see, I think the only way we lose this match is if I'm paralyzed this turn and he KOs my Chandelure or if he outspeeds my nine tails. I think there's, there's a few different things. Oh, there's my paralyze. Don't, come on, game. Game, I need you here. Okay, overheat's now. Cool. Alright, nine tails go. Alright, so this 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 match comes down to this turn. It, I leave my hands or I leave this game in the hands of the RNG Pokey Gods. If he allows me to get off a turn without being paralyzed, I win this game. If not, he's gonna Ivy Cudgel and KM me. He goes for the spike shield. Goes for the spike shield. And I wouldn't have been paralyzed this turn. Yo, please. Please, Pokey Gods. Unless this thing is not Mold Breaker. But please, Pokey Gods. Just need Lane Hex. No, Shandle been coming in the clutch, man. When I need Shandle the most, Shandle's always here for me. There it is, ladies and gentlemen.
3-0. Absolutely killed it with this Victory Bell Sunbeam. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. Absolutely lit up the rank ladder today. Loved it so much, especially with Victory Bell. Monkey Dory was amazing as well. And then Chandelure Ninetales, just as good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.